This plaque proves that the Army Air Forces and Ford were ready when war came. Dedicated June 16, 1941, six months before Pearl Harbor. And this was Willow Run's product. A giant flying machine for which the plant was so carefully tooled that it could produce one every 55 minutes. This is the Army Air Force's Liberator Heavy Bomber, the ship that made headlines and was affectionately known among flyers as the Lip. This great aircraft is 110 feet from wingtip to wingtip and 67 feet 4 inches from nose to tail. Powered by four 1,200 horsepower air-cooled engines, the Lib can carry 10 men, 4 tons of bombs, and 5,000 rounds of machine gun ammunition at better than 300 miles per hour at high altitude. The B-24, as it is officially designated, can fly 3,000 miles non-stop. It was believed impossible to build a bomber as big as the Liberator in an hour. In fact, in several hours. Even the conception of a plant such as this was viewed with considerable skepticism. But the people at Ford have vision as well as skill. They have always planned and worked on a broad scale, have always struck out on pioneering paths, and they're wise in the ways of mass production. Of course, this was something new in assembly, not just another relatively simple automobile with only 15,000 or so parts to be made, and assembled. Each of these machines is made up of 1,225,000 parts, and each had to be perfect. And in these lines you see the evidence of another Ford-made miracle. The Willow Run bomber plant has furnished one of the miracle production stories of this war. It produced 8,685 bombers in a steady stream, relentless, unceasing, on time, as methodical as a great river fed by its tributaries. These ships are the product of experience. Constant changes, some dictated by service conditions, have given to the Army Air Forces bombers that fly farther, faster, and higher, with the result that the final marbles look far different than their older cousins. After the ship was built, Ford's job was not yet done, because each ship each of the thousands made at Willow Run had to be thoroughly tested by both ground and flight crews. The 50 caliber machine guns were fired and steel bullets buried themselves in the sand pit. Engines were revved up to take off speed. In some, dummy bombs were loaded to test the rack. But in all the planes, hours and hours were spent in tests and checks by specially trained ground crews before functional tests the law. From Flight Operations Center, four-man test crews took over. These crews consisted of pilot, co-pilot, radio man, and flight engineer. A touch on the hydraulic button and the bomb bay door opens to give access to the ship. Engine stop. And she taxis out to the runway for her first flight. Gather speed rapidly, racing down the runway for a full power takeoff. We're airborne and the wheels are retracted into their wing well. In the air, the belly turret is lowered and tested. propellers is fully feathered. When the pilot readjusts the blades, the rush of wind will again start the engine. Bomb bay doors are open and closed. The 
flight engineer checks performance of the engines and equipment, including the inner communication system, after which the bomb bay doors are open again, and the dummy bombs are away. Test completed, our ship peels off. This ship is strong, with strength built in by skilled brains and hands. With all the experience that Ford has gained over the years of mass production, for the Army Air Forces, it has strength to fly and fight, and return to fly and fight again and again. Pilot signals the control tower and prepares to bring her down. We will soon see for ourselves how this modern miracle of mass production has been performed. Located by the tower and lined up with the runway, we are bringing in 20 tons of bomber at better than 100 miles per hour. We're down on solid concrete. The pilot again calls the control tower and is assigned a position on the apron. As we taxi to this berth, we pass just part of a day's production waiting to be tested by Ford pilots. The flags wave our pilot to his position and we are grounded at fabulous Willow Run.